Welcome back to Brashonomics. I'm Ben Brashen. And if you liked what Ramon was talking about, how to buy or sell a, a big, luxurious home, Stephen McDonald is going to knock your socks off with some of the cool stuff that you might also find in some of these homes. Stephen McDonald is back with us, real estate professional with John L. Scott with more than 17 years in the industry. Stephen, how are you, my friend? Happy New Year. I'm great, Ben. How are you? I'm good, man. Good. Still standing, you know, doing Come the on. thing. Happy New Year. Yeah. New Year's resolution? You know what? I've got teenagers, Ben. Yeah? And my New Year resolution is to minimize sugar. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. So I'm that's seven days into it. I'm feeling day- brilliant. I would imagine. Isn't that good? I would imagine. Do I look, I look younger? You look you look younger, thinner, <laughs> so, man. I, I can't tell you all the different ways you look good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Let's we'll stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> so... You know, speaking of looking good, yeah. you know, people go into a house, they want a good looking house, especially right. if it's really expensive. Before you jumped on right. the radio here, you're just talking about, you know, showing these five to nine million dollar houses right. that really had glaring hole, glaring holes right. in the in, in the presentation. Right. Talk about you that. Know, it's, it's interesting that Ben, you know, we were so looking at different homes and what Ramon was talking about earlier. You get these beautiful homes. And if you're buying a home for say five million dollars or nine million dollars, you can really buy Anywhere in the U.S., probably in the world, right? So it really comes down to the physical. Except for Hunts Point. Hunts Point. Commercial, <laughs> <laughs> really. yeah. But no, you can pretty. And you, yeah, and so there's a lot of options when you get to live. But the thing I, I've, I've noticed just recently going through some of these beautiful homes, beautiful views, pieces of land, houses. But the technology is sometimes a little bit behind uh, what you would think for that level. Even if it's, uh, the technology represented 5% of the value of the home. So in my thinking process... Ben, the concept is if you have a home, the life cycle of a home might be, say, 55 years. The life cycle of a an appliance in your house, maybe 10 years. Mm-hmm. You know, a computer, two years, smartphone, say, 18 months. So maybe that's why the technology in homes is a little bit behind. So when you go into a $5 million home, that's why it's not working. But there's some good things on the horizon. I think there's some good things coming yeah, in. Yeah, and I think this is really exciting, what you were telling me, because I mean, these are... This is almost Jetson-esque. Right, right. The home of the future with the Jetsons. Isn't it true? Yeah. Well, because you have this whole futuristic, and people say, you know, you've got Google, Apple, uh, Microsoft. They're anticipating billions of dollars being spent in the home because it's really where you are and what's convenient. So you would think they would hit the high end first, and I think it's starting to do that. It'll it'll be good. We can all stop staring at our phones and our iPads when we're at home. We'll start staring at the walls (laughs) and the other things that are moving around. You tell me, what's happening? What's coming out? So, basically, it's all about convenience, right? And anything that's electronic is going to be the area it's going to be hit. So, one of the the areas, it would be uh, and there's a whole list of things, but one of the areas that fascinates me, I like to cook, Ben, right? You can see why I'm so thin, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, thin sugar. But cooking's a big deal. So the kitchen is really the central area of a home, right? You know, have a party, you hang out with the kids, do your homework. Kitchen's a big deal. So areas that are, are futuristic kitchen ideas would be the tabletop or the counter surface. Having that as an electronic piece of equipment. So huge i huge iPad for your table. Yeah, exactly. It's the iPad with a with a uh, island sink in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I a love vegetable it. sink in it. So what happens is you can sit there at that table and then you can have like a TV screen or a game console or recipes or whatever. So your kid can be sitting having pizza and playing Halo on the <laughs> kitchen table. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Family conversation is going down it's the going drain. Down really fast, oh, really fast. So another thing in the kitchen is a lot of times when you have your tablet or, or your iPad the everything in your kitchen really is energy producing, right? Microwave, your oven, uh, your refrigerator, etc. So how is that monitored and how is that controlled? So the future, one of the big issues of the future is really where is energy at and how can you use that more efficiently? So when you're cooking, you can actually have, you can actually see into your, uh, say you have the ultimate pot roast, mm-hmm. right? These new ovens will come out where in your tablet or on your kitchen table, you can see the temperature inside your meat. You can see what recipes you need. You can control that whole atmosphere just from your tablet. Isn't that pretty cool? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I dig it. I, I mean, yeah. Who, so the, who so wants to lift up the top and look at the meat thermometer? <laughs> so, that hurt your back. Yeah. Do you think so? Man. That's, I, a, that's I, stressful. <laughs> that's really stressful. I think we should get back to the tablet I mean, right it away. It you if you don't have the right Absolutely. oven on. Yeah, yeah. Make sure it's a light tablet as well because you're back. <laughs> no you know. kidding. So the other thing as well, you know, in, in the walls, a lot of people have put these TVs in the walls, which is a great idea. And then some of the higher end homes now have these TVs where you'll have artwork come over it. You know, Picasso or whatever comes over it. So you can walk into this beautiful living room 
and you're not seeing this big black Samsung TV, mm -hmm. right? What you're seeing is some beautiful art. So that's a good idea. But the next stage from that is they're actually going to build into the walls. So the wall itself will be part of the TV and it'll be a smart TV. So the TV will be either art or it could be a picture or maybe your kid's bedroom is into basketball, basketball things. So you can change your atmosphere and then it can, from that, your music will tie into that. So if you have some piano music, you can have some piano you know, scenes there. Or if you have some rock music, the, the, the picture, so the, the sounds and the, and the visuals in your room will tie in and it's all part of the structure of the building. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. You, th you look at something like that and it's, it's I mean, r right now I think they have on demand like ambient, <laughs> right? It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like a fire. <laughs> right, right, yeah. This is that to a whole nother level. Right. You know, another thing is, uh, it was kind of interesting, there's these robots now, right? So I was actually at Hunt's Point looking at a property last week, and they have this little robot that actually cuts the grass. You know these ones that will go about the, the, the floor? Yeah, no, the, the wall, turns. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have that to cut the grass now. No kidding. Isn't that amazing, that? I wanted that so badly. Yeah. I think that, so they, the, they, they say the robots will be coming out in five to ten years, ranging between 30 to 35 grand. So that will be an interactive person or robot that can help clean your house and do things physically in your home. Oh, not just the lawn cutting robot. Not just the lawn. I was going to say, I'll, <laughs> stay, I'll stick with my guys for 30 bucks a week or whatever. Yeah, so, so you have this robot that can help and, and interact and communicate with Rose, you. It's rosy. It's friggin' rosy from the Jetsons. Isn't that amazing? That, so the other thing is, you know, see, uh, you know, I had my in-laws, my, my father-in-law is, is, is getting old and they have a lot of tablets and medication and stuff. So you have these cabinets where you can take your medication out. And then I'll come up in your, say, your, your, your iPad or your phone and your doctor's phone and your family, or your, say, your daughter's looking after your medication. So all these things are all tied in together. So you can basically go into your refrigerator as well, all your leftovers, right? So you can drive home. You're sitting in the traffic, the 405, go on your iPad, what's the leftovers? And all, the, all these uh, little boxes and chips that tie in and monitor what's been put in, when it's there, what's the sell-by date, mm -hmm. when's it over, all that Man. kind of stuff. Isn't that a pretty cool? That is crazy. And then I, I imagine uh, Amazon Fresh will be there the next day delivering whatever your whatever your need. I exactly. mean, you can tie it right into grocery delivery. Yeah. I it, mean, for a bunch of fat, lazy Americans, this is <laughs> this is called getting fat. Nobody's gonna have an excuse not to go to the gym anymore because you're gonna have nothing to do at home. Right. Exactly. Just play with your iPad. Yeah. Just play. That's true. <laughs> so, so you have while like, eating. While eating, guys. Exactly. <laughs> You know, so there's Microsoft, uh, Google, and um, Apple are really putting a lot of money into this because they know that people want to live in their homes. So there's a lot of money. So energy to go into that security. So Microsoft, for example, they're trying to get everything under the one umbrella. So if you have like a router in your home, and that will cover everything, your files, your security, uh, your technology, your security of your actual house, security of your internet files. So everything's going to be tied into one area. So they think that if you have one Apple iPad or one pad, or one surface, whatever the technology you want to use, that will all tie into just the one component, one operating system. So you basically, your whole house would be Apple, your whole house would be Google, your right. whole house would be Microsoft. It's kind of, you know, and that strategy was used with like Sony PlayStation and all the video games. They'd right. give the, the game consoles for way, very inexpensive, and then right. they'd sell the games knowing right. that you got to buy the games once you have the console. Or I, I exactly. suppose the other big one is the, you know, it's the Razer. Exactly, they, they yeah, the Gillette, the, yeah, the they, Gillette Smooth. They the, give away the handle, and then there is ten, a thirteen razors. dollars and pop for a shave. Isn't that crazy? That's why yet? I didn't shave it. It's getting expensive. <laughs> it's like the budget, the budget shaving. Says. You got it. <laughs> so uh, Apple, one of uh, Steve Jobs' big vision was for the, for him to really dominate the house as well. So your TV, your media, everything is going to tie in together, and that's going to tie in as well. So they are trying to make it so that. Uh, they have an electronic system to track your energy level as well. And energy seems a big deal for the future with a lot of these these lead players. Yeah. So they'll control. If, so if your refrigerator is starting to use up a lot of energy or your heating or your uh, oven, that will come up and on their uh, sensors. And probably send Sears to get you the, the new one. Hey, Stephen, we do have to go to break. Thanks so much for joining us again. Stephen McDonald with products for the house of the future. Man, I tell you, when that robot will mow my lawn and... Do my laundry and pick up after me. Way to go. I don't know. That, that is. That's exciting stuff. Yeah. It's like your own little. It's just Jetson-esque. It's like, uh, it's a rosy. But you know what all that's going to do? It's going to bring a lot of power into your house. And I got Scott Appert coming up after you. who's literally just chomping at the bit to tell you about what all that power could mean for the human lifestyle. And really, the, the humanoid. We'll be right back.